I'm a bit distracted here because I want to go to Messi. I missed all the events that happened. I missed Messi arriving in Miami, the press conference, him going to Publix. I am just reading here on Twitter from the New York Post that Bill Belichick, according to a Patriots insider, is on the hot seat. <laughs> what? No way. Stop that. What? Stop what? that. No, That's what it no, says. No. What are you no. doing? I don't believe him. That's I think it it's says. it's more likely that he's on vacation and sat on a hot seat <laughs> than he's actually on the hot seat. I'm just telling you what the Post is reporting. Belichick on hot seat, according to Patriots insider. I mean, he's not on the hot seat. Please. Ah, man, one more bad please. season. Let him have another bad no, season. Come Guys, on. you guys don't remember how this works. We've seen a lot. I know, obviously, he's the GOAT. It's Bill Belichick. You don't think that there's ever a time where they're going to, like, he'll, I'm with you. He'll never get fired, but if they're not good for, like, he'll step down. Like, that will happen. It, Belichick's yeah. not going to sit there and be with a bad Patriots Well, I think team. Robert Kraft would give him the opportunity to say, I'm not going to fire you. You could step down. Yeah. You've done so much for the organization. Right, but, but the phrase right. hot seat suggests he's on the firing it's line. It's July. Right? That, that's what. I think it's that's ridiculous. July. Football's back, baby. I mean, Tom Curran covers the Patriots in Boston. He's very credible. He is the guy reporting this, saying that Belichick is indeed on the hot seat, which is crazy. We got to talk to him tomorrow. He's never been on the hot seat. I'm serious. No, that, that, yeah, that's <laughs> Belichick. Insane. Who, Tom Curran? No, Belichick. <laughs> huh. Now, having said that, Don Shula did not leave entirely of his own volition. He was sort of eased out the door. He would never have been fired. But they did sort of say, you know what, Jimmy Johnson's available. How about we fashion an exit that allows you to retire, but sort of not really. So it did happen to Don Shula. Who are the coaches in the NFL right now that have this, that we think that their job is safe no matter what? I Mike mean, Tomlin. Tomlin and Belichick, to me, first come to mind. I feel like John Harbaugh is pretty set there. Mick McVay's McVay. pretty safe. Yeah. yeah. But outside of I mean, man. Andy Reid? Reed for sure. Andy yeah. Reed. Andy. Reed's I mean, a good currently one. where we're sitting, McDaniel is safe for now. Right, but I wouldn't put him yet in that category. I, I'm with you. After last year, he's obviously good, but I don't think he's in that with Niners the coach. Game. Yeah, Shanahan. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing about Belichick. Thank you for You're saying gonna his get name. Re- <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, what'd you do there? Yeah, you know what I did there. <laughs> you, you couldn't Shanahan handle yeah. yourself. Coach? Yeah, you just said the last name. Hey, I was uh, like Shanahan. It was one of the Shanahans. You're gonna get rid of Belichick to bring who in? Because in that example, Greg, you were saying Don Shula's on the way out. Jimmy Johnson's right. here. We can get him. Yeah. Who are you going to bring in? Yeah, that's a good point. And and in the post Brady era, it's not as if it's an it's a super attractive job. You know, the, you could argue they're the fourth best in a four team division. They don't have the the elite quarterback, so it's not a job that would attract huge, uh, you know, nominees. Brady. Oh. Wow. But he can <laughs> if he's if he's actually playing for the Raiders this season. Hmm. Or broadcasting. Or yeah. owning him. He's not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> or owning him. What is he going to do? He's going to play for the Raiders. Or coach the Patriots. <laughs> Man. See him on the sidelines? <laughs> Can you imagine him as a coach? No. He'd be is great. the answer. He'd be great. You think? Yeah, of course. He's Why? Tom Brady. Really? Yeah. Man, I, I mean, Dad Belichick's a good coach. Look at him. I don't know. Like, I, I don't mean appearance wise. I just mean, he's. has he ever coached at any level whatsoever? I mean, was Mike Vrabel? Vrabel's is good, though. He's a pretty good coach. That's fair. Former Patriot. Yeah, that's fair. You Somehow know? linebacker, though, lends itself to coach more than quarterback. Who looks like football to, to play the game we were playing earlier? Oh, jeez, I love this. Because Vrabel, as soon as you said Vrabel, Vrabel. that like game popped into my head. You know, mind. our guy Tommy the Cerebral Assassin had a cool story with Mike Vrabel from the weekend, if you guys want to hear that one. Stop doing that! <laughs> Mike Singletary? Football? Yeah. He tried already. No, no but no. he looks like he football. Looks like football. Oh, okay, yeah, he looks yeah, like yeah. football. Yeah, he yeah, tried yeah, already. I know he <laughs> yeah, did. He definitely tried already. <laughs> dropped his pants. What? He dro- yeah, he dropped his pants in the mid- in the locker room during a meeting. Yeah. Excuse me? He We've, all done, players. We've all done that. Bronco Nagurski looks like football. His Ooh, name his is name. football. His yeah, name is football. Google yeah. Bronco Nagurski if you haven't. That's a good one. Yeah, Larry Zonka. That's a football name as well. <laughs> Zonk. Zonk is good. Zonk is good. Those <laughs> forearms. Has a good court has a great quarterback ever been a great head coach? Probably, but I can't think of one offhand. Like I, I just don't think the position wow. lends itself to wow, that's always been a bad GM. That's true. Exactly. Because great NBA players usually don't translate into great NBA coaches. Right. And 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 baseball managers tend to be you know, the backup catcher or the guy who had a nice career, right. but, but not a Hall of Fame career. Hmm. Was Doug Peterson a quarterback? 
Doug Peterson and Jason Garrett were both NFL quarterbacks, okay. but, but not very true. good. But right. he's saying a good NFL quarterback. Yeah. Right. Back at the Marino down here. Zach Taylor was a quarterback. Correct. That's where I just got the information from, an article about Zach Taylor. Harbaugh was a quarterback, too. He's a good coach. Jim Harbaugh. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's Harbaugh's probably the best yeah. example. Yeah, although uh, Harbaugh was not a great player, though. Not a great player, but he yeah. was he was an above average quarterback. Right. But he started, but there's never been like the Hall of Fame quarterback who went on to be a hugely successful head any coach. You're right. I don't think. Do You're right. The uh, the information is there are five NFL quarterbacks who are Hall of Famers who became head coaches, and none of them even have a 500 winning percentage. No oh. former kickers are head coaches. Brady, <laughs> Brady will change no all that. Right. Brady. Brady will change all that. He will. Huh. huh. I love this that we're doing this. I just love that we've gotten to a segment where I can just Google NFL head coaches, and yeah. I'm scanning through them right now. It's Radio, love it. Okay. Fifty-one days till the season we're starts. We're back. Fifty-one days. Well, I have counting. Not guys. I have a bit of a game. <laughs> Still baseball season. I have a bit of a game for everybody. No, if you guys are not. interested in football games, <laughs> let's do it. Old faces, new places. Oh, oh we had one earlier, right? Oh. Old faces, new places. Old faces, new places. Chris, hit the music. All right. <laughs> I got it. He's demanding his game. It's I was buffering. trying to get to Messi. And... Buffering. Wait for it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for old faces in new places. Give the applause. Yeah. 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 Yay. Old faces, new places. Now, this game is NFL faces we've seen before in places we've never seen them. Wow. Very exciting. So, we mentioned one, Adam Thielen, 19, is now a Carolina Panther. Huh. Which took a lot of people by surprise in here. Yeah. Who have not been paying attention. Yeah. Let's start off with Patriots running back, former Patriots running back, Damian Harris. Where is Damian Harris right now? I don't no know where clue. he is, but I'm drafting him in the 14th round. Couldn't have less of a clue. Book it. I'm going to say uh, the Saints. He is a Buffalo Bill. What? what? Wow. Really? Inside the division. That's a common thing. Wow. Teams love getting guys from that were in yeah, the division. Do. Huh. Sticking with the Patriots, former Patriots wide receiver Nelson Aguilar is where? He feels like a giant. He does. Eagles. He was an eagle, right? He was First. an eagle at one point. Eagle uh, to the Patriots. Right. He was a raider for a while. Oh, right. Nelson Aguilar. Where's Nelson Aguilar? Commanders. Tell us. He's a raven. Wow. wow. A weapon. Huh? Okay. Maybe. Sure. I mean, Lamar. Speaking of the commies, former commie Taylor Heineke, the Green Lizard, yes, is oh. where? Ooh. Saints. That's a good uh, good guess. You mean yeah. he won't be playing for Washington in Week 15? Raiders? <laughs> it's usually Week Five. <laughs> Vikings. Saskatchewan Stew. Rough Riders. I think Saints as well. No, he is a Falcon. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, backing He's up gonna... Desmond Ritter, but the Falcons <laughs> Not know. for long. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we got about a five-week uh, run right here for Desmond Ritter. Right. All right, last one. Okay. Former Titans tight end Austin Hooper show favorite is where? Wow. Austin Hooper. He's with the Titans. Chargers? He started as a Falcon. Bucks. Raiders. No. Stu got it. Boom. He's a nice. Las Vegas wow. Raider. Thank you. Wow. Stu got it. Thank, Thank you. Stu got it. Hey. Hey. <laughs> we have much more. Old Faces, New Places. We'll be back. Okay. Oh, great.